Leopold. And the great <coughs> tragedy of, of the Hapsburg monarchy is that Leopold died after only two years uh, in office uh, of a heart attack at the age of 44. Uh, and that right after that, the French Revolutionary War started and that sort of put an end to that whole dynamic. So I do, I think this, this issue, is, is the regulatory state necessary to, and uh, putting into question and the rise of a public opinion and a politically conscious public, which certainly manifests itself in Austria when Leopold takes over, he's besieged by, by petitions, not just from nobles, let's have our privileges back, but by peasants and burghers and everybody else saying, you know, we've got to have these rights. And uh, Leopold is looking at France and saying, you know, it's a good thing you're doing, it's all fine, until things started getting out of hand in France. Then it wasn't so fine anymore. But you can see that there was this trajectory that understood the implications and were willing to go with it. Uh, but there was lots of resistance to it as well. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. There you have